Hi Virgo, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Virgo, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Virgo. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Cups. So this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. You could be dealing with any of these signs. Okay, so this is an energy of a lot of um, fulfillment, abundance. Something that you've been wanting in love is um, finally coming to fruition here for you. And I do see that whatever this is, this wish that's coming true here, it's something that's going to make you very, very happy and content with your love life. I'm seeing a lot of satisfaction in love. Um, things are finally lining up and um, you're at a place where you feel peaceful and content about your love life. There is a lot of um, self-love here as well and I am seeing um, you just being very abundant when it comes to love and feeling, you know, very in love with yourself as well. And this is very attractive. Other people see this um, glow in you, this light about you. You're very... Im emotionally independent and you're generating a lot of that self-love from within and this is attracting a lot of people towards you because people want some of that um that that glow that lights that you have so you're showing up as being very um satisfied and at peace and happy with your love life okay so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this virgo okay so the first card we have here is the seven of pentacles so this is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. Next we have the Ace of Wands, Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. And finally, we have the Hermit. So this is your energy, Virgo. Okay, so there is an energy here of you having had healed from something. You may have gone within and really found that light, that inner light. So there is an energy of you shining your light right now. There is just a glow around you and it's very very attractive. It's attracting a lot of people to you. A lot of people are drawn to you right now. However, I see you as being more focused on self right now. You're not very, um, you're, you're not looking very much for love right now, but somehow you're still attracting a lot of love in your life, even if you're not looking for it. And I do think it's because of this, um, you know, self-love energy. You're, you're very, you're glowing and, um, you know, finding your light and uh, shining your light. And I also see that with that Hermit card, that is you learning a lot about yourself. You're finding out what you like and what you don't like. And you're finding ways to really, it's almost like you're maturing a lot here. You're, you're developing into someone who's very wise and you're learning a lot from your mistakes and you're seeing, um, you know, how to go about things in a different way i do see there's just a lot of wisdom and maturity on your part with that hermit card and i am seeing a lot of um self-love joy and also you're being very compassionate to yourself towards yourself as well so i see that you've planted some seeds with that seven of pentacles you did plant some seeds and um for a while you were very focused on those seeds waiting for whatever it was that you had wished for to come to fruition and you you may have felt like you were not seeing progress or things were just moving too slowly in the past there may have been an energy of some impatience on your part but i see that you went within with that hermit card and there's almost a sense of you um almost having even forgotten about these seeds that you planted um because with seven of pentacles there is a lot happening beneath the surface but it's not very obvious on the you know on the, on the surface because everything is happening underground but there is a lot that is happening and your your manifestations your seeds they're taking roots they're um they're beginning to to really um grow and to um to come to fruition so i do see that 
once you forget about those seeds it's almost as if you 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 let go of that completely and you go within and you focus more on self-love and yourself and um you know learning more about yourself becoming more spiritually aware and in touch and evolving um you you actually come into this nine of cups energy so whatever this was that you planted whatever it was that you had been you know desperately wanting or hoping would happen um, the moment you forget about it, that's when it comes to fruition. And I do see that um, with that Nine of Cups energy, this is this Nine of Cups is whatever that was planted here. It's coming. It's finally happening for you. That's that wish fulfillment. And I see it making you very, very happy. And it may even take you by surprise. And, you know, when it finally comes to you, you don't expect it. And with that Ace of Wands, that is, you know, that spark, that lightning bulb, that... Um, you know, very passionate energy, something happening quickly or quicker than you expected. So I do see that it may catch you off guard, but it's a good kind of surprise and it's going to make you very happy. So you planted some seeds and um, you you watered and you nurtured it and you, you did the work. It looks like you did do the work, the inner work, the healing work. You did the work and you do deserve this beautiful gift, Virgo. So I do see that... Um, what you've been hoping for, wanting in love, it's finally here. There is the new beginning as well with that Ace of Wands, very creative energy. This is something that you've created and I do see it bringing you a lot of joy and happiness, okay? So let's clarify these cards, Virgo. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Swords. So this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. You could have been dealing with any of these signs. So I do see that there was some sort of a heartbreak situation that resulted in you um, wanting to work on yourself, focus more on yourself, and also prompted your healing. So this was actually a blessing in disguise because it allowed you to go into this hermit mode. I do see that you may have distanced yourself from people, from love interests, um, and just turn your back to love altogether and focus more on self-love and working on yourself and cultivating your own inner light. And I do see that this Three of Swords, it was a major turning point in your life and a lot of lessons were learned here. And I do see that you came to a point where you started to realize um, the truth behind why you went through, why you feel you went through what you went through. So this is also you realizing the part you may have played in um, a heartbreak situation um, and also trying to see the silver lining in something that was quite hurtful. So I do see that from this pain, you were able to really find your power. Okay, so it may have hurt for a while, but I do see that it prompted you to get into this, um, a more spiritual place. And also, um, uh, it's almost like you decided to give that love to yourself. And from there, you were able to manifest something a lot better than um, this Three of Swords energy of the past. So you use this, um, this pain as fuel. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this Virgo. Okay, so next we have the Six of Wands. This is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. Next we have the Tower in the reverse. And finally, we have the Knights of Pentacles. So this is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. Okay, so I do see success here again with that six of wands. You're getting a lot of attention right now. People are very, they're recognizing you. It's like you're glowing right now. You're, you're at that glow up um, phase. You're shining your lights, Virgo. There is a lot of light on you right now and it's very attractive. And I see you getting a lot of attention. People are seeing you, noticing you. You're, you're just very much in the spotlight. A lot of options coming your way. People are very attracted to you right now. You're in your element which is um, it's very lovely um, considering where you came from with that the Three of Swords, you really were able to manifest a lot better for yourself. And I do see that with that Tower um, card being in the reverse, this um, phase where you went within and did this hermit, in, hermit mode and focused on healing, 
it, it was very beneficial to you because you actually avoided a tower moment. So I do see if there was um, someone who betrayed you or backstabbed you, hurt you with that Three of Swords energy, I do see that you did not fight for that person. You just turned your back on them and you went within and focused more on healing yourself and um, you know trying to understand yourself and doing introspection and spiritual spiritual work. And by doing that, by not engaging in this Three of Swords um, person, um, I do see that you were able to avoid a tower moment. So it was for the best. So instead of getting a tower, you got um, a wish fulfillment. You got this, you, you arrived at this place where you have a better understanding of self and um, you're shining right now. You're in the spotlight. Okay. So even this person, whoever this person who put you in this three of swords situation was, they're also going to witness your glow up. I see them seeing you in this light so, and being attracted to your light as well. So I see a lot of people are noticing you. So I see um, things are looking good for you, Virgo. The thing, you know, with this Knight of Pentacles energy, this is also an energy of taking your time, putting your time, effort, and um, not sk skipping steps. So I see that you did the work. You did the work, and um, you you took your time with it. You uh, you were very precise and proper about how you did it. You nurtured yourself, and you're shining right now. Your light is shining. So I do see. With that Knight of Pentacles, this is a very much, it can even be a bit of a perfectionist energy. But I do see that you were very particular about this healing journey. And as a result, your manifestations are coming to fruition. There is a lot of happy, abundant energy and also an energy of you being in the spotlight right now. People are seeing you glow and um, there is a new beginning here. A very passionate, happy new beginning here. People want this with you. So I do see that whoever this Three of Souls person is, they're seeing you glow and um, I do see a lot of light around you, Virgo. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Virgo. I hope you have a really, really good day, Virgo. Bye, Virgo.